poor. There has always been a great divide between the elite and the proletariat. The weak and the strong. The question is, if you're one of the deprived, one of the oppressed, one of the unlucky ones, do you just stand there and take it? Live off the scraps of others? Retreat? Or do you fight back? Rise up? Resist? Each of these races is sustained by one thing, belief. The arrogance of man is to think that belief, like anything else, can be shattered. While you may crush the believer, it is far more difficult to extinguish that which burns in his soul. The beliefs of others are easy to mock. To the knights, it was no more than a token of superstition, easily torn asunder, a trophy to be claimed, one of many to come. Yet in the end, we all turned back to what we ridiculed when faced with that which we cannot comprehend.
Lord Kogan, master of the black arts, vowed to put all mortals at his feet. And so he summoned enchantment, long forbidden, to create an army of demon samurai. Not bound by time and space, Kogan's warriors destroy whatever and whomever stands in his way to steal the mystic energy of sacred sanctuaries from every corner of the world. With each conquest, Kogan grows stronger. Whatever the age, wherever the land, all fall before Lord Kogan. Last and most sacred of all is the temple of Mount Mikasa, believed to hold the power of the rising sun. Kogan plans to challenge the gods with such power and subjugate every mortal to eternal servitude. Many champions have faced Kogan's warriors, but all have failed. So who would have thought their undoing could come in the form of a girl?